Hi YouTube, in this video I'm going to go over uh, the anatomy of a high-end video card. This one, which is uh, an HD 4890, was uh, pretty high-end in its day, which was a little while ago, but uh, in general, um, the inputs and outputs of any high-end video card are going to be the same, so I just want to go over those real quick. The first here uh, that you see is the uh, PCI Express uh, mail connector that plugs into your motherboard, and that's how the card communicates to your system. There's also um, some amount of power that is uh, sent from your motherboard to your card, but if your card is uh, um, you know, a big card and it requires a lot of power, you'll have additional power connectors in the back, like these two six-pin connectors here. Um, these are the uh, connectors that you would plug into it that come from your power supply. Um, some cards have eight-pin connectors, which you might see as well. All those need to be plugged in uh, to use your card and power it like it's uh, designed to be. On the back, you'll see um, just the fan outlet uh, where the hot air blows out, and you'll see your monitor outputs, which in this case are DVI and S video. But new cards will have uh, Display Port and HDMI, um, among other things. So uh, the last um, input and output on the card is optional, which you can see here. The two uh, connectors allow for multiple graphics cards in one system, uh, either through AMD's Crossfire or NVIDIA's SLI and shown here is uh, Crossfire Bridge and uh, SLI one should look the same but uh, each end will plug into um, a separate video card and will allow the cards to talk to each other so if you're planning on doing that I would suggest googling it just to get more information but um, that's it for the inputs and outputs on a high-end video card if you're going to be building a gaming rig so that's it thanks for watching